Hey you guys, welcome back to another video. Sorry, I need to clean my phone off because clearly this is a little foggy. I'm starting this vlog off in the car. I haven't done a vlog in a very long time and I just felt like since I'm doing some self-love this week um, and I haven't really let y'all into my life that often. So right now I am actually on the way to take my fur baby who's running around in the back seat like a maniac he is entirely overdue for a grooming session it's just about that time his nails are extremely long and if i'm doing self-love for me i gotta take care of my baby too y'all see this man look at him he's upset because when the car is still he likes to move around so he doesn't like that but anyway he'll be okay so yeah that is what we're doing right now if you are new here, thank you so much for tuning in. Please make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the like button. Oh, not my not my my lanyard in the way. Um, and make sure your notification bell is on, sweetie, so that when I post, you're notified. Okay. But I'm gonna go ahead and check back in with y'all once um I have successfully dropped this young pup off. Okay. So I'll be back with y'all in a second. Hey y'all, it's a day two. Um, I'm currently working from home, honey. This is what I do Monday through Friday from 8.30 to 5. I'm at work on the computer um, at the hospital for those that don't know. Yes, I am an essential worker. Yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. I think later I'm going to clean some brushes and then I'm going to show y'all Apollo because yesterday we took my boy to the groom salon and first of all, let me let y'all know he tried to escape. He's asleep now, so knock the hell out. But um, I'm gonna let y'all see him later. He got his nails cut. He look all shiny and cute and stuff. So probably after I clean my brushes with you guys, I need to actually clean my kit brushes. I have a few kit brushes to clean and I need to clean my personal brushes. And I will see y'all when we get to cleaning brushes later because that needs, that needs to be done like that. I cannot. Well, damn, I guess if I clean my brushes today, I can't do makeup. Yes, I can. Cause y'all will see why. Okay, I'll be back. Okay guys, so I'm back. It's been a couple of days. Life has happened, but I did not clean my brushes without y'all because I wanted to show you. So moving right along. But as you know, with me being an up and coming makeup artist, I always have to keep, keep my brushes clean. I have to make sure I'm sanitary because it's a whole paragraph outside. Um, and we need to just make sure that we are clean at all times. So I was on Amazon and I saw a brush cleaner. And I was just like, you know what? I think I'm going to get that. It's literally only 20 bucks. It's really cost efficient. And I mean, for 30 seconds, my brush is clean. I'm not complaining. So here is what the bowl looks like. This is where I'm going to put the soap and the water. And then I have a cup of water just because you really don't need that much. Because with this Eco Tools shampoo, you only need a little bit and it'll still stir up a lot um but this is probably the only thing that i clean my brushes with and then i also have my brush stand i'm bringing it a little closer so this is the actual handle with the spindle and then these are the different strokes for different folks if you get what i'm saying so these are the different sizes of brushes that you use when you need to clean it so i got an appointment at 3 45 but she's just getting a simple face so i just want to go ahead and um clean off like some of my foundation brushes and stuff because i also have a client tomorrow morning and i ain't trying to do that before i leave so i'm gonna go ahead and start cleaning some of them now i'll probably clean the rest later which is like some eyeshadow brushes this ain't all of them the rest of them are upstairs but y'all probably won't see that part so let's get into how we're gonna clean these brushes First and foremost, I don't follow directions. If you know me, you know. So the directions that came with this little thing, I mean, I follow them, but I ain't follow them. I use the Eco Tool Shampoo. You can pick this up at Ulta. They also have like a pack of two on Amazon, I think, at a discounted rate. Um, but you only need a little bit. So literally, I'm just gonna take a little bit. 
You can't even see how much I pour in there. And honestly, this little drop, like it's like a quarter size. This little drop is gonna make so much soap. It's crazy. My opinion on this brush cleaner. I do like the fact that it cleans your brushes really quick. I do like the fact that I'm not standing all day to clean brushes, but I do find myself having to use a little bit more elbow grease when using this, because um, it doesn't always get it out immediately on the first try. That's for sure. Take my water and I'm gonna pour. They don't want you to pour halfway because when you clean, as you see, the water jumps up. So they really only want it to go about right there like cover like a fourth of the bottom and you can already see it's starting to make like suds and stuff like that i'm gonna take this m50405 um bronzer or blush brush and gotta pick the size so you see how narrow that is so i normally just like go to what hole or whatever so i'm gonna go to this one this is the one that fits so what you do is you have to make sure that it's tight enough Sometimes they're a pain in the ass to get out of these little silicone handles, but it's necessary for the machine. So once this is all the way on, I'm going to take the actual bottom part and I'm going to stick this right on top. Boom. So when I get it on there, I like to make sure that it's pushed all the way down so it's not unsturdy or anything like that. So the first thing you want to do, you want to dip your brush down in here. And you kind of want to hold it for a few seconds just to allow the water to penetrate the brush, to allow the bristles to spread and actually get wet so that it'll absorb the water in the soap. So what I like to do after that is just go one, two, three, four, five. And I don't know if you guys can already tell, but just by doing that, the color of the water has changed, which means I let it penetrate for long enough. Here go the fun part. <laughs> so this little button... I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start, I want to kind of bring it a little closer, but not as fine. I hope you guys can see. I'm going to go ahead and come up some with the brush. It's all the way down. I'm going to come up some and I'll start. And what they want you to do is they want you to go up and down for like 10 seconds. And they kind of want you to hold it under the water to allow it to spin. Go soon. All right. And then when you're satisfied, you slowly bring the brush out of the water and you allow it to just spin. And I normally like to count to 10 or 12 to allow it to get enough time. And then you turn it off and you bring it up and voila. Now, you see how I was saying? And then you reshape it, do what you're going to do. Now, I should have took a before and after, but as you can see, that brush is pretty much clean it's still got a little bit on it but all i need to do is do it like one more time and then it'll pretty much be clean but after you finish you pretty much just want to reshape it and when i say this this brush is dry this brush is dry but you kind of just want to reshape it into whatever shape it was in and if you feel like you need to wash it again repeat the same steps so for a few seconds it's one two three four five Spin. And you see how it's like jump, the water is jumping. That's why they say don't add so much water because it will splash up. And if, I mean, it's supposed to, that's how you know it's doing it right. Let's see, I pour too much so, or I added too much. The quarter size is probably good, but of course I'm extra. Spray. And then voila. But you see how I say like, I feel like when I'm doing it by hand, I get my brushes a lot cleaner. I don't know if y'all can tell the difference. It's still some brown on there. So sometimes I have to like put it in my hand first. The soap in my hand. My hands are clean. I put it in my hand first. Oh shit. I almost hit myself. I'm gonna dump it in this water. And I'm just clean it over the um actual thing. Because I need this brown to come out because that means the brush is still dirty. 
Certain makeups and foundations do stain brushes, but I don't care. I need my shit clean. So, and just look at that. Me doing it by hand literally got that brown out. You know what you feel me? And sometimes I just need to bring it up some. Ain't that cool? And boom. And now I'm going to reshape. I'm going to pull this off. And here you have a clean bronzer brush. And now this is going to go in my kit. So, yeah. That's how I clean my brushes. Merry Christmas. Don't ever say I ain't told y'all nothing. But, um... That's what I'm talking about. It's so hard to take these off. Perfect. And I just put it back on the stand until I need it again. I'm going to go pour some of this out first. And then I'll be right back. I'm going to probably continue to speed through this. Go back and watch it again in case you need to see it again. But I'm going to pretty much speed through it just to give me um, some time. Because I'm on a time crunch. It's like 1.45. Um, and I need to get back to my 9 to 5 a little bit to check on that. So I'm going to hurry up and do these. Y'all can just watch me. And we can just keep going. Tell you the truth, she ain't lying to you. Baby, you said you ain't scared. Oh, girl, I love how you care. I was so lucky about what you do. Tell you the truth, she ain't lying to you. Baby, you said you ain't scared. Oh, girl, I love how you care. I was so lucky about what you do. Tell you the truth, she ain't lying to you. Baby, you said you ain't scared. Oh, girl, I love how you care.
Woo. Okay, so my back hurts and I'm tired, but I have cleaned all of the brushes that I need to clean for today. Go ahead and put these in my area where I work at. And um, that is it for brushes right now. Probably check back in with y'all later. Hey, y'all. I look crusty, dumpty, and humpy, but you know what I'm saying? A girl is working. I forgot to freaking get up and say good morning to you guys. I have actually honestly been up since like 8 or 9. I was on and off in sleep, um, in and out of sleep. But I had a client this morning at 11.30. So I just got finished doing that not too long ago. I kind of sat around and hung out there for a minute. But now I am actually on my way home. I have this freaking hat on my head because... I look terrible. It's like one o'clock. I don't have a nail appointment until five. I'll probably go to the nail salon and y'all will just come with me. I wanted to come and check in though, because I totally forgot to check in. So I wanted to come say hey. And wanted to let y'all know that I ain't forgot about y'all and that I'm still doing this vlog. But y'all are just seeing me do my maintenance and grind at the same time. See y'all when I get home. All right, y'all. I am checking back in. It is now 7.40. Earlier when I talked to you guys, like six hours ago, I was leaving a client. I actually um, didn't come home after my client and color my hair simply because I didn't want to rush it. The nail appointment was just really relaxing and I just did not feel like recording at that moment. Plus, you know, that's really me and my nail takes time to catch up and shit because that's my girl and we be, we be having the tea, you know what I'm saying? Here are my nails. Baby freaked it, you know what I'm saying? The drill. <laughs> and Jay Shabu nailed you, don't play with me. So I did that. I'm home now. I'm actually about to eat. I went to Midwest Smokehouse. I'm trying it for the first time. I've always, 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 always wanted to try it. Apollo is sitting right here whining because he's not getting any attention. Come here, child. See how I talk to him like he, my child. Come on. He only doing this because he smelled my food. Say hi. Say hi. Bye. So yeah, now I'm about to eat. Like I was saying, I tried Midwood Smokehouse. I've actually never went in and sat down, but I have heard that the food was very, very good. So in the midst of me trying to figure out what I was going to eat tonight, I was just on Yelp and was going to be in the area of like the east side after getting my nails done. So I wanted to get something kind of like on the way home. But I actually got a sandwich. I got the Texas Toast uh, Brisket Sandwich with sweet potato fries. Guys, I'm actually trying to like eat better. Like, you know, the the sandwich is bad, but like the fries is Sweet potato. You know, I'm trying to, I'm trying to be bad and good at the same time. If I'm gonna eat bad, you know what I'm saying. If I'm gonna eat a lot of cheese, I want to have like a salad or something like that sometimes. So yeah, I wanted to get something that was gonna be filling but good. So we're gonna try that for the first time. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna eat and I'm gonna enjoy my show because I need to catch up on the latest episode of Sisters. It's actually playing in the background right now. And I promise you guys, this time, next time I check in, I will be doing my hair. Like I'm still doing my hair tonight. So, stay right there. Get you another glass of wine or some popcorn or something. Go get you some food. Go eat. Don't be malnourished, okay? We like to eat over here. So, make sure you're well fed. I'll see y'all in a minute. You guys, I promised you that when I came back to check in, y'all be coloring your hair with me. So, here we are about to lift or bleach my hair. I have my hair product. <laughs> Do this carefully. I'm gonna try to show y'all the contents of the bowl. Um, this is just the hair stuff that I'm gonna use to bleach or lift my hair. I'm gonna go ahead and stir this up. So of course I'm not gonna drip this on my phone. And y'all are just gonna watch me as I lay this bleach down. Just 
Now I'm going to take a plastic cap and I'm going to carefully put it over my head. I'm going to let it sit just like that and then I'll be back after I've rinsed my head out and time to do the color. Alright y'all, I have rinsed out my hair. As you can see, it is lifted to this light kind of like ashy blonde, but my tips are still a little like pink. But now I'm mixing together my hair color. This is my hair, you guys. Slickety slick, you know. And put my scarf on. All right, you guys, I am done with my hair. I'm going to wash my face really quickly and then I'm gonna, um, I don't know what this is in my chest, and then I'm gonna be off to bed. I will catch y'all tomorrow when I get up and do my makeup um, and we get ready for the day. So, good night, I'll see y'all tomorrow. Good morning, you guys. Happy Sunday. I literally just woke up maybe like 10 minutes ago. It's almost 11 o'clock. I didn't go to bed till like four. <laughs> I did my hair. I stayed up because um, I got hungry. <laughs> and then I watched my show, Queen Sugar, because I'm catching up on that since season five just started. I'm going to go show my hair. I'm debating on if I'm going to go ahead and do my makeup now before I go out. That way it's done. I need to go to the grocery store and... I also need to figure out when I'm getting my pedicure. And I kind of want don't want to do my makeup closer to when it's time to go. I kind of want to just already have it done. And then that way, once I'm outside, I'm outside. Stay with me as we do it. Can I fall? Can I chill? Can I stun? All right, you guys. We are in BJ's. Um, Y'all didn't get to see me after my makeup was immediately done or while I was doing my makeup. Um, but there'll be a video on the look. I hate this fucking buggy. But I'm actually running hella late. Um, but luckily, I only got a few things to get from here. So I'm going to be in here like for too, too long. Because um, I only got to get like some stuff for my dog. Something for dinner. I think I'm going to pick up a case of water too. But y'all will see how that... And you got a good water from over here and put it against that wall. So where is my motherfucking water at? I don't drink Fiji. Y'all, I'm gonna get mad. Because I don't see my water. I don't see... Oh! See, I'm a bougie bitch. I like Evian, okay? The base about not me ho, but it's the best water ever. Period. She ain't it. Baby, you said you ain't scared. Oh, girl, I love how you care. I would tell you about what to do. Tell you the truth. She ain't it. Baby, you said you ain't scared. All right, guys. We is at the stove. We finna go drive these groceries off at the hills. Because I got shit to do. So, because I filmed um, a video <laughs> or whatever, um, and it kind of ran over a little because I was just in love with the look, the face, which is today's face. But because that kind of ran a little over, I'm not going to have time to get my pedicure today. Um, I'm going to still bring y'all on this little semi date with me, though. So, I got invited. It's not really a date, but whatever. So, I got invited by somebody to the Harvey B. Gantt um, Museum in Charlotte, North Carolina. If you are not familiar, 
Um, it's Black History Month, and I'm always down for going to uh, learn about my people, see about my people. Um, it's pretty much, it's a casual thing. You don't have to, like, get dressed up, but who would I be if I didn't get a little cute, honey? That wouldn't even be like Lonnie, you know what I'm saying? So, I'm going to drop these off, and then I'll check back in with y'all. Alright y'all, it's always been my favorite museum though. Um, it had lots of dope pieces. The Black Lives Matter exhibit was really fucking dope. Um, that was probably my favorite part of the whole museum thing. Child, should be crazy downtown, okay? That was really freaking fun. I enjoyed myself, but I'm currently trying to get out the goddamn um, parking space, but every time I try, now I'm gonna let me hell out so but yeah i'm actually on my way home now i'm about to probably go eat and that'll probably be it for today's vlog because i don't have nothing else to do so i'm gonna go ahead and go home and i'm checking out for the day and i'll see y'all tomorrow when i go get my pedicure hey y'all happy monday it is monday february 22nd okay two 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 i feel you i am currently honey Natural as hell in the bed at my nine to five. Today is probably gonna be the last day of vlogging because I started vlogging like last Wednesday or Thursday. I still have my pedicure to go get. I will take y'all with me to go do that to go get my pedicure since it didn't happen yesterday. So, um, I'm probably gonna go do that at six once I get off, and I will see you guys once I get off work and um, go get this pedicure. All right, you guys, we are pretty much here. I'm at the light with like five minutes to spare. About to go on, and get this pedicure, and I will see y'all inside. Tell you the truth, she ain't to. Baby, you said you ain't scared. Oh, girl, I love how you care. I'll put the love you all back to you. Tell you the truth, she ain't to. Baby, you said you ain't scared. Oh, girl, I love how you care. I'll put the love you all back to you. Tell you the truth, she ain't to. Y'all, I just want to say I love my friends. Julie is the freaking best, okay? Like, woo! She feel good, honey. Feel like I'm walking on earth. Let's move. It had been a minute. Your girl just been working. Ah! Drop my water bottle. Your girl just been working. And you got to keep the toes done, okay? But I forgot to close out the video last night after I got my pedicure or whatever, which, by the way, had me 
walking on heaven, honey. And I actually um, just finished doing a client not too long ago. I'll put that, you know, show you guys a little glimpse of my work and whatnot. But I wanted to come back and close the video out and say thank you for spending the week with me. If you guys like more vlogs like this, drop it down in the comments and let me know. Thank you so much for tuning in and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.